Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Horoscoped. Today we'll be continuing our look into Poppy Playtime Chapter 2's lore, as we find ourselves on a web. A spider's web. We of course will be taking a look at the antagonist of this chapter, Mommy Longlegs. Strap in and prepare yourself for the deranged mind of this Betty Spaghetti inspired toy. I hope you enjoy. Now, Mommy Longlegs is definitely nightmare fuel, but not even she can stop you from getting a good night's sleep with the right bed. Today's sponsor Helix sent me out a bed set almost a year ago, and it truly has been a game changer. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to meet your sleep needs. I've been using their Dusk Luxe mattress for almost a year now, which is a soft mattress with some firmness. It's been absolutely great for maximizing the amount of hours I sleep at night. I took their sleep quiz online to figure out the best kind of mattress for me since I sleep on my back, and the results were pretty spot on. They then shipped out everything to my front door for free, and I was pretty shocked to see how everything just fits together with ease. No tools needed. And of course, the mattress is amazingly comfortable. If you're nervous about buying a mattress you didn't get to try in a store, they have this 100-day sleep trial to cover your butt. Basically, you have three months to make sure you love the mattress you bought. And if you don't, they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10-year warranty, and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Since getting my Helix, I've honestly been sleeping really great, and I no longer shuffle around at night like I used to. It's been amazing. So if you're looking to upgrade your bed and get some quality rest, check out Helix by clicking my link in the description below. Go to helixsleep.com horoscoped and get up to $200 off your Helix mattress. And a huge thanks to Helix for sponsoring today's video and supporting both my sleep and my channel. Okay? Time for Mommy Long Legs. Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, Fly in a Web, doesn't waste very much time before introducing our new foe. After speaking with Poppy herself a few times near Elliot Ludwig's office, she's abducted by a stretchy pink hand and dragged into the black void of a pit below. Mommy Long Legs makes her grand entrance shortly after, stealing her red grab pack hand in the process. Immediately, it is clear that there is something not quite right with this toy. I mean, beyond it being a horrible science project gone wrong, obviously. Mommy wants to play a game. A number of games, in fact. Poppy had recently told us about a train that could lead us out of the factory, and was willing to give us the passes required to run it. Mommy didn't like this idea. She would rather play for keeps. A number of challenges in the form of games lay ahead of us, and the reward for completing them are pieces of the train code. The cost of failure, or disobeying Mommy's wishes? Death, naturally. But just who is this pink spider-like monster, and why does she insist on these silly games? Mommy Longlegs, as revealed in the transfer request document, is referred to as Experiment 1222. Her former identity is Marie Payne, marking her as the first toy whose human identity is confirmed. Her personality varies widely, as she seems to be friendly and more motherly towards the experiments as well as children. However, she is viciously violent towards the employees at Playtime Co., a trait that extends to the treatment of us, the player, as a former employee of the company. The transfer request goes into these observations, as well as recommending that she be transferred to the game station to work with the children as they went through the test disguised as games. This entire operation was evil to its core, as it was assessing children in order to decide if they would be adequate test subjects, presumably to be experimented upon and turned into toys. Mommy's presence was thought to be soothing in these endeavors, as even rowdy children can learn to listen to their mother. However, we find out that over time, even her attitude towards other experiments has degraded. Throughout the journey through the game station, we are presented with a number of puzzles resembling games from our childhood. Statues, for instance, is a modified version of Red Light Green Light, and the memory and cognitive test platform is like playing Simon Says, except in a truly messed up way. The modifications made to these games were of course created by Mommy Longlegs herself, in order to try and halt our progress. Ironic considering she claims we're the cheater, when we manage to escape her vile plans. Worse still is how she treats the toys involved. As we said, her attitude towards other experiments has essentially dissolved. This is witnessed firsthand after completing Musical Memory or Wacka Wuggy, as Mommy straight up murders Bunzo Bunny and the Mini Huggies after we begin to move on. PJ Pugapillar seems to be spared from this fate, however. Perhaps because the player cheats in this minigame, and Mommy focuses her anger on us rather than PJ failing. This all leads to Mommy's ultimate mental snap, as she decides to simply kill us with her own spindly hands without the added hijinks of her games. Coincidentally, this also happens to be the first time we see Mommy express fear. After the chase through the factory, Mommy's arm ends up snagged in the grinder, and we can't help but pull the lever to start it up. Oops! Though her anger is certainly not gone, it is slowly overcome with terror as she screams that she's going to become a part of him as the machine crushes the life from her. 
Sure enough, as her body falls to the floor, that creepy clawed arm of Experiment 1006 emerges from the adjacent hallway and drags Mommy's lifeless form beneath the door from whence it came. Possibly the only thing more unsettling than this scene itself is thinking about what this unknown entity is going to do with Mommy. What will she look like when we potentially see her again as a part of some horrible Frankenstein monster toy? There are, of course, some other unanswered questions as well. Thanks to a poster that we come across inside of Playtime Co., we can see that, at least conceptually, Mommy was intended to have a family, a husband, and a baby. Though we don't actually see evidence of these two toys otherwise. There is a laboratory hidden within Playtime Co. that does feature another decapitated Long Legs-like character, but their size appears smaller, and it's uncertain if their color choice is actually a glitched texture or if they're supposed to look this way. This room is dark, and the player can't see this very well, but given that there appears to be an eye texture on the foot, the coloring may simply be a mistake. Furthermore, it'll be interesting to see if we learn more about who Marie Payne was before the experiment. We presented a hypothesis previously in our dive into Kissy Missy that perhaps one element of the toy's behavior is tied to whether or not they were a willing participant in these awful experiments. Kissy Missy, with her potential identity of Stella Graber, seems to be friendly towards us during our single encounter. Stella, of course, sounded as though that working for Playtime Co. and bringing joy to children was a dream to her. Whether this opinion extended to literally becoming a toy is anyone's guess at this point, but Kissy's attitude is noteworthy. By comparison, Mommy despises us and any other Playtime Co. employee. Perhaps likely similar to many others, she was an unwilling volunteer for the mad science occurring at the facility. Only time will tell. But what did you think of Mommy Longlegs and her murderous intent? Will we see her again, or perhaps some of her family members? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers!